the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 289, Matthew 26 to 28. The cross of all nations. The work of salvation for all humankind was achieved because of Jesus, who redeemed all sins and was the Lamb that was seized and killed by people. First point Jesus changed the 1,500 year old Passover to the first ever communion with his disciples. After predicting his suffering three times to his disciples, Jesus then predicted his suffering for the fourth time. Jesus indeed had enormous plans for the 1,500th commemoration of Passover, which he intended to change to the first ever communion. However, this involved the Son of Man being sold. As predicted by John the Baptist, Jesus was to be the Lamb of God for this Passover. Jesus was to become the Lamb of Sacrifice on the cross, and ultimately end the system of making offerings to God in the temple. Jesus' suffering was going to his plan. One day, a woman came forth in preparation for Jesus' death. All Matthew, Mark, and John recorded the instant of the woman pouring perfume on Jesus before going to Jerusalem. It was customary in Judea to pour perfume over the guest's head during a feast as a sign of a celebration. The woman had poured perfume over Jesus' head in order to make Jesus shine. But when the disciples saw this, they expressed discomfort. Judas Iscariot especially expressed resentment towards this. And so, Jesus told them to leave her alone. Matthew immediately records the betrayal of Judas Iscariot. Jesus had already declared that he was to take the cross this Passover. But the high priests had decided that they would not kill Jesus this time round. But Judas Iscariot's betrayal provided the high priests a reason and opportunity to kill Jesus this Passover. Judas Iscariot appeared before the high priests and received the money in exchange for betraying Jesus. Jesus prepared for the final Passover after entering Jerusalem. Jesus then predicted the betrayal of Judas Iscariot. Jesus went ahead and changed the 1,500-year-old Passover to the first ever communion. And then Jesus headed towards the mountain of olives with his disciples. Second point, Jesus received the first Sanhedrin assembly trial. Historically, after the fall of North Israel followed the fall of South Judah, and this ultimately ended the 500 years of monarchy. After the Babylonian captivity ended for South Judah, they were then governed by the Persian Empire, which led to the return of the captives to Jerusalem under the permission of the Persian Empire. With Ezra being sent back to Jerusalem, the Sanhedrin assembly became established. As such, the Sanhedrin assembly was founded by Ezra, and this assembly continued all throughout the Persian, Hellenistic, and Roman empires. The Sanhedrin assembly conducted Jesus' trial, and then later conducted Stephen's trial and St. Paul's trial. Before his trial, Jesus went to Gethsemane and prayed three times to God. Afterwards, he was arrested by the Sanhedrin assembly. It was at this time that Peter sliced off an ear. Jesus, however, told Peter that those who used the sword would die by the sword, and that his arrest was to occur. 
and predicted in the Old Testament. Jesus explained to Peter that he had the power to bring the angels from heaven, but he was staying still in order to fulfill what was written in the Old Testament. That night, Jesus was taken to the court of the high priest to receive a trial from the Sanhedrin assembly. The trial turned out to be full of false accusations, all in order to kill Jesus. They found evidence for Jesus' mockery of the Holy Temple. Jesus remained silent throughout the trial until the high priest asked him whether he was the Son of God. To this, Jesus answered yes. Jesus' answer contained all the content regarding the cross, resurrection, ascension, as well as the Son of God. If the high priestess and the Sanhedrin assembly had been true religious leaders, they would have bowed down before Jesus. However, the reason they did not was because they neither believed nor waited for the Messiah. When Jesus told the assembly that he was indeed the Son of God, they tore their clothes, spat on Jesus, hit him, and generally beat him. They then decided to kill him for the sin of blasphemy. As such, Jesus was questioned all throughout the night by the assembly and during this time, Peter denied Jesus three times as Jesus had predicted. Third point, during the trial, Pontius Pilate tried three times to save Jesus and also gave three commands. On Thursday night, Jesus was questioned in the court by the Sanhedrin assembly. And then on Friday morning, he was passed to Pontius Pilate for another round of trial. The assembly's only motivation was to kill Jesus. And with this, they handed Jesus to Pontius Pilate. Pontius Pilate had been forced into the scheme of the Sanhedrin assembly. The Sanhedrin assembly used their influence on Pontius Pilate and so he could not refuse their offer. However, Pilate also knew that Jesus was famous to the Jews, and so this was indeed a difficult trial. Pilate asked Jesus whether he was the king of the Jews, and Jesus answered yes to him. When the questioning continued, Jesus once again remained silent. Pilate asked Jesus once again. The assembly suggested crucifying Jesus on the cross according to the punishment of the Roman Empire. Thus, Jesus became crucified on the cross. Pontius Pilate, who agreed to this, was the fifth governor over Judea for 10 years since AD 26, during the reign of Emperor Tiberius, the second emperor of Rome. After the incident of Jesus' cross, Pontius Pilate was ordered to commit suicide and so died in AD 36. Pilate tried three times to not crucify Jesus on the cross, and this was because he knew that Jesus, being the Son of God, had nothing to do with Roman law. Therefore, Pilate tried not to get involved. Also, the reason Pilate tried to pass Jesus back to the Sanhedrin assembly was because he knew that they did this out of spite. During Pilate's trial, he asked Jesus once again whether he was the king of the Jews. This was his attempt to turn the tables for the people accusing Jesus of blasphemy. Pilate also tried to release Jesus through the card of Passover, but he was unable to do this. Here, Pilate was able to sense a change in atmosphere from the Jews. He realized that they were not the same as those who cheered when Jesus entered Jerusalem. He realized that these people were paid to scream murder. Pilate's Passover cut did not succeed. Thus, Pilate ordered the crucifixion of Jesus. The high priestess got what they wanted. Pilate, however, said yes to Joseph of Arimathea's request to take down Jesus' body. Pilate then sent Roman soldiers to guard Jesus' tomb. Fourth point, the prophecy about Jesus' suffering on the cross was made a reality 
by the Sanhedrin Assembly and Pontius Pilate's trial. As soon as Pilate ordered for Jesus' crucifixion, the people started to mock Jesus. This was the fulfillment of the words of the prophet Isaiah. The Roman soldiers dragged Jesus around whilst whipping him, and moreover tore Jesus' clothes and made him wear the clothes of the king to mock him further. They put a crown of thorns on his head and then crucified him. On his cross, they wrote, King of the Jews. Jesus died on the cross. The Sanhedrin assembly was very much satisfied that they had gotten what they wanted. They spread the news that Jesus was a blasphemer and that he was a self-proclaimed king of the Jews. They believed that they were at peace again and furthermore believed that Herod and Pilate were under their control. They made plans to fill their vaults with the tithe as they prepared for the next big religious event. Fifth point, the dream of all nations which God spoke through Abraham became fulfilled 2,000 years later through Jesus' resurrection, making all nations the disciples of Christ. Jesus who died on the cross defeated death and rose again. The women who heard this from the angel came to his tomb. This had been warned by Jesus in Galilee to the disciples. The women rejoiced when they saw Jesus. But when the soldiers who were guarding the tomb saw him, they turned pale with fear. However, they soon calmed down again when they received a large amount of money from the high priestess to spread false news. After Jesus resurrected, he fulfilled the words of God, which was spoken 2,000 years ago to Abraham to bless all nations. Jesus gave the great commission to all the people, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.